In this tutorial, I will show you how to completely uninstall ROS2 from your computer. And let's see first what ROS distribution you have actually installed. So to do that, you can go to slash opt. Okay, and if I check what I have here, I have some stuff and I have ROS. So if you go to ROS, that's where ROS is installed. You can see here, I actually don't have one distribution, but I have two distributions, okay? I have installed Humble and Rolling, which are the two distributions that are available for Ubuntu 22.04, okay? This one, the LTS release, and the Rolling, which is basically the development version of ROS2. So, well, this was just to check what we have installed, okay? I'm not gonna do anything uh, from here. I'm just gonna, well, clear. And now we can remove the packages using sudo apt remove. So this is, of course, if you have installed them with binary packages. So if you have installed ROS2 using a sudo apt install. So here we do sudo apt remove and then ROS dash and let's put a star and let's just uninstall everything. Okay, that's a lot of packages. I'm just gonna put enter and let's see what happens. All right, so now all the ROS packages have been uh, removed. What we can do, it's also a sudo apt auto remove because we may have stuff that we don't need anymore. And as you can see, yes, there is a lot of stuff that we don't need anymore. So let's just press enter again. Okay, so now everything should be removed. Let's see again. Well, you can see we have nothing else to remove. But everything has been removed correctly. Now I can go back to slash opt and let's see if I still have my ROS. So ROS is gone, okay? If you still have stuff in uh, the ROS folder here, you might just remove the ROS folder. And well, now that's not all because you have actually removed the ROS2 packages, but you also need to clean your environment. And what do I mean by this is maybe, so if you go to your bash RC, Maybe you have sourced the distribution that you are using so that you don't need to do that in every terminal. And also maybe you have created some workspaces and sourced them. So of course I will make sure that I remove those lines. Okay, and I say, okay, I remove any reference to ROS in my bash RC. Okay, so that's done. And then, well, as you can see, I have a ROS to workspace. That's the one that I have used before. This is not a problem. You can remove it if you want, but you can just save it. It's just some, well, just some files that you used for your own ROS2 development. So you can decide what to do with those. Okay, so now ROS2 packages have been removed. The environment is kind of clean. But if you want to completely remove anything related to ROS, well, you can see if I do a sudo apt update, let's see what happens. You see that, so I have my Ubuntu stuff and you see I still have the source here uh, packages.ros.org. Okay, so we still have the sources that we actually manually added during the installation. So we can go to cd, so cd slash etc and then apt and then sources.list.d. And here you can see that. So I have this for uh, OBS Studio, that's the tool I'm using to record, and I have ros2.list. So what's inside this? Well, you can see it's here the packages.ros.org. We find this actually right here. And so I can just remove. So here I will do a sudo because I'm not in my home directory. sudo remove ros2.list. Okay, now if I do a sudo apt update, you can see that the ros packages should be gone. Okay, and just to finish, let's do a last sudo apt auto remove. Make sure that we have nothing else. You might also do a sudo apt upgrade if you uh, need. Okay, but here everything is good for me. And finally, well, uh, maybe a sudo, a good sudo reboot so that you reboot your computer because, well, we have actually removed a lot of things. So maybe it's safer just to reboot the computer. And now ROS2 is completely uninstalled from your computer. Thank you for watching. Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also, check out my online courses if you like what I teach. Links in the description and see you in the next one.